Here we're going to be taking a look at multimeter. Now I got four of these to give away and this time I remembered to negotiate for the overseas people. So two of these I'm going to be shipping to somebody within the lower 48 states and the other two are going to go to either uh, Canada, UK, Italy, uh, Germany, Spain, or France. Now this is like a beginner's multimeter. This is a multimeter for people who want a very simple, basic, inexpensive multimeter. Now this does not have current capabilities, but it will do the important, the other important stuff, volts, ohms, continuity, uh, the stuff you need most of the time. Okay, so here's the thing with this meter. It is very inexpensive. It's, it's normal price is $12. Right now it's on sale for $9.99 and I'm going to have a 10% off coupon code down below. For $8, you're getting this. I mean, what a time to be alive, right? When you can get a multimeter for the price of a dozen eggs. That's just crazy. Look at that. It comes with Duracells. I wonder if they're real. This is not for resale. Interesting. I'm thinking to myself, God, what's the price of two Duracell batteries? That's got to be a couple of bucks, right? All right. There's a brass insert in an $8 multimeter. Oh, and a flashlight. Huh. All right, let's see if I can figure out how to turn on the flashlight. Look up, maybe, ooh, it's backlit? Holy, oh, I did not expect a back, okay, there's the flashlight. A backlit $8 multimeter. Okay, and there's the flashlight. It's just your five millimeter LED, but uh, you know, it's something if you need it. Yeah, you just push and hold. Okay, now it's back off. Okay, let's put this thing through some tests. And it, it does have the little rubber condom thingy too, which, I mean, I'm surprised. It, it feels pretty dang good. It has that, you know, uh, power tool plastic has a certain feel to it. I'm fiber reinforced. I don't know. There's a name for it. I don't remember what it is, but it, it feels pretty good. And with that uh, rubber protector over it, it, uh, it definitely feels like it's worth a lot more than $8. All right, I'm just gonna mess around with it for a minute here. Okay, so I checked it off. I'm, I'm learning as I go. I have no experience with this multimeter. I really don't know anything about it. All I know is the company wanted to send me some and I was gonna give some away. So here we are. Get out of there. It's, it's a soft wire, but it sure does feel thin. Well, I suppose it can be thin because it's not measuring current. There's no, there's no amperage going through this wire, so I guess they can get away with it being thin. It's actually pretty fairly shiny plating on there. We'll see how, how it is with continuity. Okay. This is auto-ranging. Let me see if I can manually put it in continuity. It just says auto. It's not letting me... Okay, so it just automatically selects continuity. Yeah, there's no... How do I override? I want to override. Dang it, am I going to have to read the directions? Uh, it's just an auto. Hmm. So it looks like this is strictly an auto-ranging multimeter, uh, which kind of makes sense since they're gearing towards beginners or people that uh, want a real simple, basic multimeter. Um... So what it can do, so it auto ranges continuity. So we can just go ahead and it has a hold function. So if I push that, it should hold it. Yep, and it held the zero ohms from my short circuit. And a long press on this button will turn on the uh, non-contact voltage sensing. And there's that. And then uh, a short press on this button turns on the backlight. Another short press turns it off. And a long press turns on the flashlight and a long press turns it off. 
for DC low voltage testing, it does slightly disagree with my unit T, but uh, I really don't think that's uh, enough to get excited about for just uh, average troubleshooting. You know, if you're an engineer, you're probably not going to be buying an $8 multimeter, but for just general purpose troubleshooting, that's good enough. And now to test out the non-contact. So let's say we sent little Timmy down to turn off the circuit breaker because I have to service this outlet. I'm going to put it in. I'm going to turn on the backlight. Now it's in non-contact mode. And the outlet is still live. And that works. So since we know little Timmy didn't turn off the right breaker, uh, let's put this back in auto range. And we're just going to check the voltage of the outlet. AC voltage test. Okay, I'm right in there. 122.6 volts. Looks good. One K resistor. And this is what what it measures on my old trusty unit T. Uh, 0.99. And on the Tusman, 0.992. Now this multimeter does seem to have one fluke. And that is when I was reading the uh, reviews on the Amazon page, someone mentioned that they weren't able to measure the impedance, the resistance of a speaker because uh, anything below 50 ohms, it automatically switches to continuity. And they're right. Uh, it does just automatically switch to continuity. And here in the owner's manual, it does kind of bring that up to continuity approximately 50 ohms so 50 ohms or lower and it just switches to continuity mode so you're not able to measure a resistance below 50 ohms so even with that being said it's still for the price you know it's pretty much disposable it's the kind of meter you could buy a couple of and leave one in the truck and borrow the other one to your neighbor for when he needs it. And if he doesn't bring it back, it ain't that big of a deal because it's $8. Or if you know maybe a young person getting into electronics and their birthday is coming up, I mean, that's this would last a kid a while. But, uh, oh, and for the winners. Okay, so I'm going to be picking four winners within 24 hours after this video goes live. So if you want to enter your chance to win, uh, just leave a comment down below. But I will leave your general location, whether or not you're within the United States, or if in, you're in those lo locations I listed off earlier, because I'm going to pick two winners within the United States, two winners overseas, uh, and it's going to be completely free. You're not going to have to pay for shipping. So if someone claims you won, but they're asking for shipping money, it's a YouTube scam. Don't fall for it. Um, and make sure YouTube notifications are working, because I'm going to give you 24 hours to respond to me responding to your comment uh, i'm not going to chase you guys down too hard so after a day i'm going to move on to a different winner so i think that is all uh, thanks for watching and good luck